All right, guys, uh, this is Eric, the UVX Picker. Um, today is day one of a 30-day challenge I'm doing with myself, pretty much. If you guys want to jump in, feel free to do so. Uh, I'm doing a challenge called Death to the Death Pile. Uh, Froggy Flips had put out a video about Soy Pod, um, Show Us Your Pile of Death. I did that video last night and I uh, made a commitment to myself um, that for the next 30 days, I'm going to do a daily vlog alongside of my What Sold video and just talk about how much I've listed out of my death pile and what sold out of those listings. So I've been tracking, I'll be tracking that and kind of letting you know the numbers um, every day. And then along with my What Sold video that I normally do. So just something to keep me uh, accountable and also um, one of those things for me to give me some motivation extra uh, to get listed the stuff that I've been set on for a little while. So hopefully this video does help you guys get inspired to do the same. I know with our current situation of being unable to source uh, consistently, um, we all are digging into what we have already and trying to get that listed. Because as far as my sales on eBay go, um, I've had one day that was slow, a uh, slow day for me. I only sold like one or two items. Uh, but recently, like tonight again, I hit the $300 mark um, on today's sales. So for me, that's a pretty decent day. Um, I'll be showing you just what exactly I sold and then talk about the death pile and what I uh, what I sold from that. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started. First thing uh, we have going out today and I actually have two of these going out, so I won't bore you with both of them. Uh, this catchphrase game, this went out for $10.40 plus shipping, so buyers all in for like $17. I actually have two of those going out. Um, that was a retail arbitrage recently at Kmart. Uh, we have the last remaining Kmart in North Carolina, and it is going out of business. They're having their sales up 70 90% off. So it was like Picker's Paradise in there <laughs> a couple of days ago. And uh, I will tell you, the area I live is very isolated. Um, so I know some of you guys get uptight when we talk about being going out. Um, we actually did have two cases of coronavirus here in our county. One of my best friends is a uh, EMT. And so he uh, get, keeps abreast with what's going on with the virus here. And those two cases actually have went back and been retested and they were cleared. But if you don't know anything about the Outer Banks, there's only two ways to, well, three ways to get on the Outer Banks by ferry, uh, or there's two bridges that take you in where we're at. The bridges have actually been shut down as far as, uh, unless you have a Dare County license coming in, you cannot uh, access our place. So it, it is a little safer than most places, obviously taking precaution, but I did go to that sale um, and I did pick up some items and most of those have sold, but any rate, that's my health and service announcement as far as my own health. I also go to India every year and uh, deal with a lot more uh, disease than uh, what <laughs> the norm does. I have a friend of mine who works with handicapped people and uh, also uh, runs an orphanage there. So I've been over there with him, leper colonies, all that kind of stuff. But not to take this thing lightly whatsoever. Um, this... Uh, item is my item that sold for my death pile um i actually listed this yesterday uh this sold for 40 dollars uh the only reason i sold it a little cheaper normally this unit would be more expensive but it has some problems a little bit um on the inside it's hard to see it but it looks like somebody stuck something to the side of it yeah can i get that angle yeah you see that right right there um so it does have a little issue. It does work still, but I, I just sold it cheaply um, because it had some integrity issues as far as that. And it is pretty rusted up. So that's my death pile item going out. And then we have uh, Neville Higginbotham, a uh, little Lego figurine. He sold for six fifty. We have Stone Cold. Steve Austin, um, bendable figure. Uh, that thing sold for $10 uh, going out, and that was free shipping. And then we have Nintendo GameCube. We got three of these. These are uh, baseball 
all three of them and they went out for $15 total then we have a good old drop shipper which I don't know what your opinion is on that I don't mind as long as they pay <laughs> this uh, Magnavox went out for 70 bucks all in that includes shipping so Please do not include invoice, purchase paper, packing slip of any kind. This is a gift, so do not use any eBay branded material or eBay tape. Huh. I'm sure it's a gift to somebody. <laughs> like I said, I don't know how you guys feel about that stuff, but I don't mind. I'll, I'll sell whatever. As long as it didn't ding me on the uh, Gina drop shipment. Um this uh, video soap going out, this old television series, uh, this went out for $6. And this is another retail arbitrage from Kmart, this Transformer figure. Um, this went out for $21 total. Uh, Mark Lowry, seven seventy dollars total going out. That's with shipping. And this thing, I've sold one of these in the past. Uh, this is a toaster from 1950. These things are cool. If you've not seen these things before, um, this is automated toaster. So you don't have to, uh, <clears throat> it has no button to push down. I know most of us are used to the button. Uh, when I tested this thing, it's, it's, it's really cool. Actually, you drop the toast in and it sits there for a second. It just starts slowly going down, gets in there. And then when the toast is done, it comes back up just like a normal toaster would, but it's automated on the bottom. There's only one little setting. You turn it to lighter or darker. But actually, I had actually got two of these units, uh, both for $5 a piece at a yard sale. A um, uh, few ladies that are pickers, and they said, man, you should look this thing up. It's good. And they'd actually polish this chrome up real nice. Uh, this is a Sunbeam Vintage 1950. Um, T20 is the name of the brand model of the toaster but if you see those old toasters um, this one sold for $74 total um, so nice little flip on that and then we have uh, this PSP game this is <clears throat> MX versus ATV uh, so motocross versus ATV unleashed uh, that went out for $860 that was part of a bulk purchase I did and then you guys already seen the catchphrase the only other game I think I've going out is Othello um, and it's Pocket Othello, and that was a, I, I'm going to have to dig that thing out, but uh, that went out for, let's see, where's it at, it was a cheap one, $5 plus shipping on top, so that's what I had going out today, so my total today on the <clears throat> death to the death pile Yesterday, I listed 15 items, and I sold one today for $40 uh, out of that. So it literally sold within hours of me listing it. So it is an encouragement to me. Um, a lot of those items that I was listing yesterday, I feel like may be a little bit longer tail, um, but they're listed. That means I can set them on a shelf and not worry about them until they sell. So... <laughs> Instead of looking at them, sitting in my death pile room uh, and them dauntingly haunting me <laughs> as I go in there and, uh, and look at those things. So for me, it is a, it is a pretty decent start. Uh, 15 things. I sold one um, immediately. So we'll see if any more of those sell uh, the next few days. Uh, today is Saturday, so I'm going to be listing. Uh, most of these items probably will not ship until, um, until Monday. Uh, I'm probably going to, I've got about two hours before my, uh, shipping deadline is here at my local post office. So I'm probably going to package up as many as I can, uh, just to kind of cut down on Mondays because if, if this is how the days started out, uh, today I have 13 items going out. Uh, for a total of three hundred eight seventy nine. So, if I average that over the weekend, I'll be at thirty plus again. And I honestly don't want to deal with uh, packing thirty some packages again at one setting. I was almost forty last week, and it was uh, it was a lot. I was shipping for probably four hours. 
<laughs> trying to get everything put together because some of those were items that were a little bit more uh, detailed in packing. So uh, a lot of the easy ones were definitely going to go ahead and knock out. And then these toaster and the DVD will be a little bit more to them. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I'll let you know again what sold, what I got listed. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're a reseller, good luck out there reselling. I uh, hope you do find some gems within your death pile. And hopefully all of us will get back to normal before too long. So uh, if you're uh, out here just hanging out with us and you're not a reseller, man, we appreciate you watching as well. And uh, please like and subscribe. Recommend us to your friends. Uh, we do appreciate all the help we can get when it comes to YouTube. Thank you, guys.